test, 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 testicles, test, 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 testicles, unique New York. The human torch was denied a bank loan. Hey guys, uh, thanks for coming back. Uh, we're trying a new mic setup to see if it works a little bit, but so we got less noise on the crinkle, crinkle, crinkles. So, um, I figured that this uh, box of KO Boxing Round 1 from 1991 that I bought would be a good test for it because it doesn't matter if this uh, video sucks because this is... We're very, very lucky in the uh, mixed martial arts, combat sports, trading card world because we got to bypass this shitty junk wax bullshit that we got right here uh, from the early 90s. But in here... We do have a couple possibilities because it says look for special hologram cards and authentic autographs. There is one hologram in here if it is perfectly centered, which it won't be. And if it doesn't have any surface issues, which it will. And if it doesn't have any corner, corner issues, oh, they're going to be so folded. Uh, it could be if it's graded at 10, there's a there's a there's a Muhammad Ali hologram in here that could be worth, you know, four or five hundred bucks i've never seen an autograph out of here but i did see that it says in every case there's two per case so one in uh you know one in every six boxes has an autograph of somebody who knows who they got to sign these hopefully they're on card autos that would be a first for me that would be fucking sweet for an on card auto but i digress so What's ripping to these fuckers, huh? It is really, really hard to get a super centered card out of here. Um, I bought this because I got this a long this I got this a long time ago for I think about twenty bucks because like I don't know if you guys can see like there's kind of like there's probably like literal like mole gross stuff on the outside. The box is kind of dented. And like I said, there's in the junk at wax era, there's so many of these. I don't know if we'll get through how many stacks we'll get through here. We might not get through very many. We might just do like one stack, see how it goes. Um, we're probably going to have a lot of doubles. We're probably going to have... Um, there's, there's not very many like parallels or like inserts in these, so... All right, we're just going to grab a stack and we're going to start going. Let's see how noisy these things are. We're just testing stuff out to, to, to make the channel better here. All right, we got Orb of Car. Salvatore Sanchez. George Castro. Jose Saltiman. Bong Young Kim. I wanted to look him up actually earlier because I saw him and I don't know a whole lot about, um, you know, Asian Japanese boxers, especially from, uh, from younger generations. Is there Charles? So this is a different insert. This is one of the all time great inserts. So like I said, just like normal, uh, junk wax, these are pretty generic. And, uh, the, the, the big names are, are sparing in these. Nate Miller. Manager Shelly Finkel. I'm sure that guy's not a fucking scumbag. Alright, so like I said, uh, the hits are kind of sparing in here, but like I said, they made just millions of these cards. Alright, Gabriel Ruiz. Zard, Jesus, Jamal, Hillier Caesar Vasquez, not Hillier Caesar Chavez, Scott Olson, Simon Brown. So the cool thing about opening these up right now, guys, is everything that I've seen online has been from a really, really shitty camera on YouTube, Bob Aram. This guy uh, is a real scumbag. 
Um, I know I just stopped, but he is a real scumbag. I don't want that card. Um, the cool thing is that I haven't seen these cards opened up on a decent camera in a while. Um, because most of the time when people were opening these up on YouTube, from what I could see, um, you know, it was back in the day on, you know, crap, on, on, sh on shittier technology. Fucking Bob Arum. Uh, this is going to sound real dis disrespectful, but th the only thing that I can really say that for the future of boxing, the best thing that can happen to boxing is all of these really old managers, and all of these really old announcers, and all of these really old refs and judges. They all need to go to go away and, 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 and let other people take charge and make something happen. Sounds like when, what we need to do with the government. Greg Page. But honestly, boxing is in a really good place right now. There's tons of awesome fights going on right now. We got, um, um, what do we got? Cro Crawford, uh, Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spencer. Um, that's a big fight coming up. So there's big things happening. All right, there's our there's our first uh, first G decent card, Julio Cesar Chavez, um, Junior Welterweight. Look at all those titles, those defenses. And like I said, most of these cards are going to be super off centered. Uh, they're going to have some sort of damage on them, but if we find a big hitter. Um, a, um, a rookie like we see in the background, like a Lennox Lewis or a Arturo Gotti. I believe that uh, Roy Jones, Roy Jones's rookie card is in here too. Um, I have a couple of those from the last box that I opened up that I did yeah. not know, um, but they were super off centered. All right, let's see if we can get an auto here at some point in time. That's an awesome picture right there. I don't know if you guys can see who that is, but in the middle, we have, in the middle we have uh, uh, we have Hector Camacho, and uh, we have Pernell Whitaker and and uh, Meldrick Taylor. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's a good one. I forgot that one was in there. All right, Alfred Cole. Emmanuel Stewart. This is one of the bigger cards that we've got to so uh, so far. Um, you know, he's he's trained so so many champions. Uh, you know, Hearns, uh, Michael Moore. Meng Wan Hu. So yeah, like I said, a ton of base, um, pretty pretty large set. I forget how many cards it is, like 280, like it's, it might be close to 300. Bruce Strauss, the mouse. I think this guy is the most losing fighter um, considered boxing's all-time greatest loser, yes. Uh, Bruce is the only fighter to ever been knocked out on every continent with one exception, Antarctica. <laughs> Been KO'd by world champions Bobby Cruz, Marlon. I'll tell you what. Uh, if I had uh, if I had a record like that, I would I would be pretty happy with it. If I could say I've been knocked out by world champions, <laughs> that's funny. Old fucking Bruce Strauss. Well, thanks for letting me experiment on you guys with this. Uh, this new one, let's see if it cuts out on this. If it doesn't cut out on this, I probably won't uh, put this video out unless we get a banger here. We got something gold, that doesn't mean anything. Okay, there's a Sugar Ray Leonard. That's a really nice card there, but it is super fucking off centered, and that's what I'm talking about on these cards. Okay, that's just another all time great. Boxing Hall of Fame. 
in Canosta, New York. That would be pretty cool to go to. I don't think I ever want to go to New York. It sounds fucking awful. I don't know what part of New York that's in. Okay, that's a nice Joe Lewis, and that's pretty centered. I'm going to put that off to the side. You know, and a lot of these cards, if they're if they're graded at 10, um, I'll put a couple off to the side here, and we'll take a look at them. Especially like this, this gentleman, James Corbett here. Uh, if you don't know anything about these old school boxers, at some point I'm going to put out a longer video on, on, on some old school stuff. Because uh, I really, really like um, the old bare knuckle boxing. And, uh, you know, right into like, um, uh, right into like when, when they started wearing the gloves again. When they started wearing the gloves. And I really enjoy that they're uh, finally going back to bare knuckle boxing again because it definitely changes, the, you know, the, the entire sport. The way, the way you stand, the way you throw punches, how hard you throw punches. You know, putting your putting your fist into this glove with, like, you know, you get your hand wrapped and then it gets put in this glove. Just turns your fucking fist into a sledgehammer. And this is one of the funner cards out of this set. This is a beautiful uh, boxing legends, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Robert Roberto Duran. Decently centered. All right. They put this one in sparingly. This is a beautiful Joe Lewis sketch card, uh, super off centered. Like we said, you know the, the the printing issues that these companies had back in the day were. So fucking brutal. Orlin Norris. Another Roberto Duran. That one looks a little bit off-centered. And I'm just kind of hunting through because I have a lot of these. If you guys um, like any of these cards, shout out to me and just... Um, just let me know which ones you want, and I can probably just hook you up with a, a stack of them. Um, if you let, if you let me know, anybody that's interested in uh, boxing cards, uh, I'm, I'm I'm super uh, super excited to help people out and getting interested in them. There's not a lot. I wish that somebody would would be able to come out with a card set. Beautiful checklist with the. Michael Moore, big Michael Moore fan, so I'm going to put that one off to the side. I don't know how many of those I have. All right, there's a nice Terry Norris Champions card, junior middleweight. So we're going to go, we're going to rip through a couple, few, couple more packs pretty quick to see if we can get either an autograph or um, the, the hologram card. But like I said, the, uh, the hologram is one per box and we are definitely definitely not oh there's no way that guy's a fucking scumbag <laughs> look at that fucking mustache uh look at that fucking pervert i'm so sorry if this guy's like an outstanding member of the community um when he immigrated from south america i'm so sorry buddy all right william jones So yeah, either way, this is a really fun rip, like I said, for, I got these for under, I mean, it was probably under 75 cents a pack that I got these for. So it's a fun rip to go through and kind of look back in time and look at some of these, uh, some of these, uh, these older fighters. All right, there's a nice one, Angelo Dundee, that's pretty centered. You guys don't know about Angelo Dundee, um, you know, he obviously trained uh, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, um, amazing, amazing boxing coach. Almost bought an autograph of him the other day, but um, some guy on the internet had an entire, like, an entire page of, like, sticker autographs of Angelo Dundee, and he had a bunch of, the, a bunch of these cards. 
that he was sticking them on, and he was asking like fourteen or fifteen dollars a piece, and I offered him eight. And he said, "I'll sell you two for eight. And I'm like, ah, "Come on, man! Like, you have an entire page. You have like fifty of those sticker autographs that might not even be real. They were probably real, but no." I don't remember ever seeing this card out of here. Christophe Tizozzi, super middleweight. That's interesting. I don't know anything about him, but I do not remember seeing this card ever. 28 and 1. WBA champion. Um, France. That's why. He's French. Huh, that's why. Alright, one more pack on this video, guys. It's already been 15 minutes. If you guys have watched any of this at all, if you guys have watched more than 10 seconds of this, motherfuckers, okay. I appreciate you. We're going to come back with some KO, kick, KO boxing cards later. All right. Boom Boom Ray Mancini. Oh, that's a nice one. All right. There's a nice Michael Buffer. Uh, and I think these are might be one of the more short prints, and that looks pretty centered. We're going to throw that one off to the side, too. That's nice. Michael Dokes. Hey, shout out to my fucking Ohio boy from Akron, Ohio, baby. Michael Dokes, let's fucking go. Hometown Akron, baby, 41 and 3. 41 and 3. Let's fucking go for the Michael fucking Dokes. Woo, Ohio boy. Uh, Off-centered. Should get a Michael Dokes card graded just to have a fucking Ohio boy. All right. So I'm a Bombay. Junior Jones. Floyd Patterson. That's a fun one. That's a really good, uh, really fun card to get. Really off-centered. Um, if we get like that, if we get an autograph of that in here, that'd be fucking sick. All right, guys, so that's the gist of this. So if you ever see a box of this out there and you're like, hey, should I get this? It's only $65. Yeah, don't do it for that. But if you can get it for 20 bucks, no. Pernell Whitaker. I'm literally watching uh, Pernell Whitaker videos right now. He is fucking so elusive. Unbelievable fucking fast twitch. Um hand-eye coordination just so elusive god damn if you don't know nothing about Pennell Whitaker look up Pennell Whitaker all right guys thanks for watching or not uh, appreciate it godspeed party on um hey let's start watching some fucking boxing guys there's been some fun fights on lately let's get back into boxing i know we specialize in mma but let's start watching some boxing